In our last episode, we talked about how you can cook once but eat twice. And today I'm gonna to show you an easy weeknight meal you can have on the table in about 15 minutes, and it also makes great leftovers throughout the week. I'm nutritionist Kelly Williams with the Worcester County Health Department, and you're back for another episode of What's Cooking in Worcester. Okay, for this recipe, we're going to get our chicken cut up. I'm gonna dice this today, but feel free to slice it, cube it, however you like to eat your chicken. And again, this recipe would work with turkey. You could also do it with seafood, maybe some shrimp. Lots of ways to use a simple strategy like this to get quick meals on the table. The other great thing about what we're making today is it does not need to be reheated. You can keep it in your refrigerator. It makes a great lunch to pack as well. We have roughly cubed up our chicken and we're gonna let it rest and move on to our veggies. All right, we're using about a pint of grape tomatoes. You could also use a cherry tomato. Feel free if your family likes onions or peppers, diced cucumbers, really the sky's the limit here. Whatever your family enjoys or what looks good at the farmer's market or what you find on sale that week, we have our tomatoes ready to go. All right, we're gonna add some salt to our boiling water and we're gonna add our whole grain pasta. Okay, we're just gonna cook that till al dente, give it about 10 minutes. All right, we have drained our pasta and we're going to add that to our bowl here. We're gonna add in some of that chicken that we chopped up earlier. This is a great way to use any leftover chicken. In this program, we use the chicken that we grilled up in our pan all at once. We had our wraps in the previous episode and this time we're having pasta salad, but you could use leftover rotisserie chicken or any other leftover chicken that you had as well. It's a great way to repurpose leftovers and not feel like you're eating leftovers. Okay, we're gonna add our tomatoes. This is the time that you'd wanna add any vegetables that you used today, whatever you have. I'm gonna also add these marinated artichoke hearts. These are already quartered. And remember, we talked about taking some help from the grocery store when you can. So when you can buy things pre-diced, like these sliced black olives, go ahead and do that. You're gonna save yourself a few minutes of time. And as you can see, our cooking is finished. We are just assembling now. We're also gonna add some store-bought pesto. Okay, this is gonna add most of our seasoning that we're gonna be using and also some oil. So it's gonna work as a dressing in this pasta salad. Now, if you don't have pesto sauce or you're not sure or don't like pesto, you could use an Italian or a Greek style salad dressing as well. I'm using about a quarter of a cup in this size bowl, but measure with your heart and use as much or as little as you like. And our finishing touch here is gonna be these great little mozzarella balls. They're called pearls. They come in these little cubes, but if you cannot find these at your local grocery store, you could also just use a mozzarella string cheese sliced up or other favorite cheese. Feta cheese would be really good in this as well, especially for a Greek or Mediterranean dish, which this is kind of has a lot of those flavors going on. And we're just gonna finish it off with just a bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper, and we're gonna give it a toss. And you can see this makes a really hearty dish. Other great thing is we did everything in this one bowl. This will keep in the refrigerator for about three or four days. So if you wanna have this as an easy weeknight meal, a lunch that you can grab on the go, it's perfect for school or work lunches as well. And as you can see, you just wanna get that all mixed together. And this is one of those dishes that is actually gonna taste better the longer it sits because those flavors will all meld together and it'll pick up that pesto, it'll be really delicious. And there you have your easy weeknight pasta and chicken salad. For the Worcester County Health Department, I am nutritionist Kelly Williams. Thank you for joining me on another episode of What's Cooking in Worcester. Remember to eat healthy, be active, prevent diabetes today.